Fort Wayne police investigators are busy trying to solve a hit and run case tonight. It left a man in critical condition. Someone discovered that man in a parking lot on Fairfield around 6:30 this morning. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has been uncovering new details all day, and tonight, only on News Channel 15, we hear from the man who found the victim. It's a daily ritual for Tom Nowak. Every morning I walk by here to get my coffee. But certainly a different day today. Oh yeah, a real different day. Today, he found a man lying in the Las Lomas Mexican Grill parking lot. One leg all bent up or something. One shoe over there about five, ten feet from him. At 6.30 a.m., it was still dark out. I almost stepped on him, you know, because I'm looking at the ground finally and then, whoa. Tom called 911. When police arrived, they found the man unresponsive, tire tracks on his shirt. It quickly became clear that he was uh, struck by a motor vehicle. The man rushed to a hospital in critical condition. At the scene, no signs of the vehicle or driver. If there was a motive that this was just a tragic accident, we have no way of telling this early. There wasn't a lot of evidence at the scene, so police are working with Las Lomas to look at surveillance video, hoping the camera caught what happened here in the parking lot. Identifying in this particular case a vehicle, at least description of a vehicle and quite possibly a person or persons in the vehicle at the time of the incident. We asked to see that video, but police in Las Lomas would not release it. Police also hope someone in the community might know what happened. Any activity in a parking lot of a business that would normally be closed uh, would have caught the attention, I'm sure, of some passerby. We would like to know what they saw when they saw it, uh, and it could be critical components to this investigation. As for Tom, his gas station coffee runs might come a little later now. I'm going to wait till it's daylight. In Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. And if you have any information that could be helpful, call police at 427-1201 or Crime Stoppers at 436-STOP. Officials have not released the victim's name yet.